And now it's time for the first Roblox War Awards, which we will be giving to the most worthy robots in their respective categories. The first award is the Sportsmanship Award, which we will be awarding to the teams who might not have been that successful, but still managed to keep a smile on their face and keep their spirits up. The four nominees in this category are The Ganbots, Team Red Dust, Buzzin' Hornets and Team Icehound. The receiver of this award is Team Red Dust. Team Red Dust entered all three competitions and lost in the first round of a football and sumo, but managed to make it to the heat semi-final in the arena competition where it lost to Network. The next award is the Design and Technology Award, which we will be awarding to the teams who have used ingenious scripting and technology to produce interesting weapons and robots. The four nominees in this category are Team Chaos, Team Spiny, Two and a Half Robots and Team Red Dust. The winner of this award is Team Spiny, as it was the first robot in the competition to successfully use a flipper to topple its opponent. The third award is the Most Promising Newcomer Award, which goes to the teams who have proved successful as they enter the Robot Wars circle. The four nominees in this category are Team Spiny, Team Emeryville, Team Wobster and Team Network. The receiver of this award is Team Emeryville as it managed to make it to the heat final in Arena and actually won the entire sumo competition, a difficult feat for a new robot. The next award is the Veteran Award which goes to the robots who have been in the Robot Wars circle for quite a long time and have proved successful in the first war. The four nominees are Team Red Dust, Team Chaos, Random Crazy Thing If You Must Know and Team Global Nuisance. The winner of this award is Team Global Nuisance as it managed to make it to the grand final of all three competitions and managed to even win the football competition. The next award is the Most Original Design Award which goes to the teams who have used simple yet effective designs on their robots that have proved successful over the course of the first war. The four nominees are Team Network, Team Icehound, Team Skidder and Team Edgeways. The receiver of this award is Team Network for using a simple blue wedge that got it through to the heat final of Heat D and also quite far in football. And the final nominated award, which isn't really a celebrated award for the robots who receive it, it's the biggest fail in the first Roblox War award and the four nominees are Team Red Dust, Team Edgehog, Team Fire Fist Ace and Team Devils. This award goes to the teams who have entertained us with their failures and managed to successfully, completely have an utter epic fail some point in the first Roblox War. And the receiver of this award is Team Edgehog. Team Edgehog entered all three competitions and managed to lose in the first round of all three, then actually tried to sneak in as another person with another team called Claw and even lost in the first round there, making Team Edgehog the only team to lose in the first round in four competitions. The final three awards are for the Grand Champions, two of which we already know, the Football Grand Champion Team Global Nuisance and the Sumo Grand Champion Team Memoryville. As of yet, we do not know the Arena Grand Champion, but we will, we will be finding out quite shortly. So until then, well done to our award winners Team Red Dust, Team Spiny, Team Memoryville, Team Global Nuisance, Team Network and Team Edgehog, and good luck to the remaining two competitors in the Arena competition. This is it, the final two battles of the Robloxian First War. We have a playoff though between Public Nuisance and Mini Flipper, and after that we have the final battle, the grand final of the arena competition between Random Epic Robot and Worldwide Annoyance. Hello and welcome to the playoff between Public Nuisance and Mini Flipper. Both of these robots lost the semi-final and now they're in the playoff to win third place in the Robloxian First War Arena competition. Mini Flipper getting put against the wall by Public Nuisance. Nearly over after only about 10 seconds. So a great start by Public Nuisance. Mini Flipper has a very high ground clearance. Public Nuisance was very disappointed after losing against Random Epic Robot. After this battle we will have the grand final between Random Epic Robot and Worldwide Annoyance. Public Nuisance gets underneath Mini Flip pushing against the wall. And now into the CP instead into that wall. And nearly out of the arena. It's right on the edge and Mini Flipper can't move. It's a remake of when Mini Flipper lost to Worldwide Annoyance. 
Mainly played for his flipped out the arena. The only robot to be flipped out the arena twice in this competition. The public nuisance wins third place. That was an amazing battle there between Public Nuisance and Mini Flipper. Public Nuisance gets third place and Mini Flipper fourth in the competition. But now it is time for the final battle, what you've been waiting for. It is the Roblox Robot Wars Grand Final! Hello and welcome to the Grand Final between... Worldwide Annoyance and Random Epic Robot. So they're off. This is what you've all been waiting for. The final of the first Roblox War. 64 com sorry, 32 competitors have now come down to this. So Random Epic Robot gets underneath Worldwide Annoyance. Pushing Random Epic... Uh, pushing Worldwide Annoyance. Random Epic Robot got under Worldwide Annoyance about five times so far. So far, and he's out. Well, well, that was the quickest battle we've had in ages, and it was the grand final. The so random 